Now, back in the heady 1960s, our final guests were cast to form the first and some say best boy band ever. Touring the world, performing their hits Daydream Believer, Last Train to Clarksville and I'm Not Your Stepping Stone, they provided the soundtrack to teenage lives on both sides of the Atlantic. At the height of their success, their bubblegum pop music outsold the Beatles and the Rolling Stones combined. Welcome Davey, Peter and Mickey the Monkey! <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome to the show. Thank you. How was it arriving with Sherry in the back of your car? <laughs> that was fun. Was fun. The car. Do you use that car all the time? Not ever. That's, Not ever. A, that's the first time we've had a woman in the back of that car. Hey! <laughs> We didn't I mean to leave her in the back. Yeah, you all got out and left. <laughs> we were being told by the cameraman to just get out and start walking. Yeah, leave her, leave her there. more money than we do, probably. You're on tour in the UK at the moment. Yes, we are. Going? How's that going? It's going incredibly well. The, um, yeah. We're getting great reviews and, and packed houses, and we have, we play... Noah County for Taste? Yeah, yeah Noah County for Taste. Yeah. Yeah. Royal Albert Hall tomorrow night. Where are you going? I'm fascinated, because you go back so far. What age groups are you getting? Uh, every, everything. It's like for three three generations sometimes. sometimes yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of bands will tell you that too, that they're getting uh, the Stones sure. or McCartney in America when yeah. he tours. He says mm. that he gets all kinds of, mm. you know, different audience, different age groups. My it's husband great. went to see it at Manchester Apollo last Did Saturday, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah? He that... said it was one of the best gigs he's been to his musicians. Oh, oh good. Oh, and excellent. he said it was absolutely brilliant and it was packed. Well, so. we're singing yeah. a lot of different songs, you know. We, we have I'm a Believer and Daydream Believer and Clarksville and, and that's... But we just picked some other songs off Did the album. Did we pick another Believer song? There's another... Oh, uh, yeah. The Saturday we're Believer We're doing a song from the movie Head, um, okay. which uh, Jack Nicholson wrote for us, and um, some wonderful songs by Peter, yeah, by uh, Carol so. King, by uh, uh, Mike Nesmith, and we're doing that whole album. We're doing the whole you. album. For, and with video from the movie and stuff, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's pretty cool, yeah. So it's, it's going to be something, obviously, for the nostalgic. Did you expect that 45 years on, you would still be touring and performing? I didn't think I was going to live to be <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't count that high. They say, if you remember the 60s, you weren't really there. Yeah. So, yeah. I but remember the 60s. I'm told I had a good time. <laughs> okay. When you look back at the the show, I'm sure you have done. Do you do you have such fantastic memories of it? Because I know I remember it so well. Did you oh, if you're missing, so well, who are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, no. of course, no, it's, it's different for all of us. You know, we're all individuals. I, I remember. The Except show for me, quite I'm fondly. not an individual. I'm, I'm just. Everybody I mean, it was exciting for me the first day I met Circus Boy. That was a good thing for me. <laughs> you know, because Nicky had already been on television kid. for about yes. three years. I was on Broadway in a show. Peter was travelling. I was just a, a folk singer. I just... and it's Mike... an amazing idea that you all answered an ad and you turned up and you... Yeah. Actually, only Mike answered the ad. <laughs> it's true. It's really? true. Michael was the only one who actually answered the I'd ad. I'd already had a series, so one had <laughs> one's own private audition. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And David was already... Audition? Mickey, what Johnny you, Be Good. You sang and played? Yeah, I sang and played Johnny Be Good. I didn't think what you could about play. being the drummer, though, Mickey? They cast me as the drummer, and I said, fine. You know, teach, show me where, to, where do I start. Well, well, the way, were, that, the way that happened, was... actually, they said, who's going to be the drummer? And Peter, Mike, and I took a step backwards. And, he got <laughs> <to get me. laughs> and is it true you, you, were, you weren't a drummer? You were a guitarist. So I was you had a guitarist, to learn an actor, obviously a singer. And, uh -huh. uh, but uh, you had to play an instrument and sing to be able to get, in, get through the auditions. You know, the monkeys ultimately was um, like glee. You know, it was uh, yeah. the Monkeys was a television show about this imaginary group. Like mm -hmm. Glee is a TV show about an imaginary Glee club, Glee? but they can actually do it. Yeah. They what do you think of them? Yeah, just... I think it's a great show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they can all, all actually sing and play and dance. And... I mean, there's an audience for everything. You know, I mean, so if these kids and these people are going out and doing big concerts, yeah. it's sort of like American Idol or English Idol. All well, these are the biggest yeah. concerts in the country. You know, I mean, in, in America as well. Yeah. And the kids are clamouring to it, live music, live performance. I think that's what show so business you, is about. Are you enjoying it more now, doing, going back on the road now, than possibly you did then when all the pressure was I on am, there? I've enjoy, enjoyed every, every tour we've, every reunion, reunion tour we've ever done, starting with our first annual 20th anniversary mm -hmm. reunion tour. In 86. In 86. Every single one has been more fun for me than the one before. I'm enjoying the show more. I'm, I'm enjoying the travelling less. I don't yeah. travel well. Yeah. I'm like a fine wine, you know, just <laughs> we, lying we, on my side in yeah. the dark. Like yeah. <laughs> We get paid to travel, we don't get paid to work. But yeah. we, <laughs> on stage, it clicks because it's sort of like, I'm sure in years to come, I'm sure it'll be many years before you all separate and go your own ways, <laughs> that uh, you, you'll look back and say, hey, we had a great time doing this. And now, between you, you have ten daughters, is that yeah. right? All yes. girls. All, well, all daughters, all girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's useful. Um, how would you say your parenting skills are? Are, are you are you, do you is it, are you oh. free form or are you strict? 
Who are you asking? Ask him, ask him. Okay. I can only say that you'd have to ask my ex-wives. <laughs> because okay. being an entertainer and traveling all the time, they are really responsible and they're the ones that do the work, you know. We're just out there on the road traveling around the world doing stuff. Uh -huh. It's a difficult mm -hmm. job, you know, being a, a, a pop uh, mm. personality. Right, person of our... <laughs> but my, I think the mums, they were the ones responsible. <laughs> I think that's important. Thank you. To you let people know. Um, we seem to agree. I was married uh, twice uh, with children and we seem to agree that we that time um, you have to create a structure because uh, later on in life they're going to need it and mm -hmm. if you don't g give them the you know some sort of skills to cope with reality sure. and childhood isn't uh, as really if we knew anything about reality, reality. <laughs> <laughs> give, them, give them some sort of skills to cope when the, when they get out in the real world sure. you know Mickey what's on the new album is it all uh, new we, don't, stuff? We, don't, we don't have a new album. The monkeys don't, but you do. Oh, my new album. Yeah. Oh, wait, thank you very much for asking. I did an album uh, dedicated I don't. to Carol <laughs> King called King for a Day. Because yeah. she wrote many great monkey tunes, and I was always a big fan. So I uh, <coughs> got a record company to release uh, an album called King for a Day, where I do all Carol King tunes. I have an oh, album too called good. She. It's got all those sort of classic tunes Fly Me to the Moon, She. Uh, wonderful World, uh, I've heard both Cry, of Johnny Ray. Right, well, back to Monkey World. Stuff. You have got an album out that's the best of the monkeys. Oh, oh that's true. Yeah. Yes, that's true. That's oh, true. I haven't seen it. Here it is. I'm I having a look at it. It's, it's oh, oh. all the great songs that you Is it worth £25,000 is what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know more? There was an old it. monkey who lived in the shoe. <laughs> so where are you performing tonight? Are you on to uh, tour tonight? Tomorrow night, Royal Albert Hall. Fantastic. And it's sold out. But oh, oh, shame. You give me a call, I know somebody. Oh, OK. Do you know it's we'll work not... something out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like him. You. I like him. <laughs> it's been so lovely to have you on the show. An absolute Is your time honor. up? Your time yes. is up. I feel like I've just barely scratched the surface. Hey, you were talking about uh, makeup and all that stuff we were yeah. watching, right? And my kids say to me that I'm JGE, and I said, what's that? And they said, just gay enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we say you're the monkeys. Yes. The monkeys, everyone. <laughs>